I've been using the SD300 to build 3D printed models with multiple colors in the same model, such as this one. By careful planning and switching materials at different layers, we can get the sandwiching of multiple materials, plus the benefit of attractive sheen and partial transparency. That can be used for simple effects, for example, just attaching a graphic in a different color, also as being done back here. Or by switching to transparent material, build a model with a built-in lid. In this model, the switching of materials so that there's clear allows the mechanism to be seen through the through the model, which actually has a practical value so that the user can see how he's maneuvering the parts, which makes it something of a puzzle. I'll try building this flat model using two different colors of material. They're tiny models, so I can fit eight of them on the platform at the same time. I often want to uh, pause the SD300 at specific layers, so I wrote this computer program to monitor the progress and automatically stop for me. So in this case, when the machine reaches layer 4, the computer will tell it to stop. When it's time to switch materials, in this case I'm changing from transparent to uh, bright red. On the front panel, tell the machine to unfeed the media. Let's go with the end of the roll. A little sticky tab to hold it in place. And I store the other colors in this cupboard. So in this case I'm switching from clear to red for the last layer of this model, which will be a contrasting color. Put in the glue cartridge that goes with the red roll. Close the machine and it's ready to proceed. Now the SD300 continues with the alternate color. This particular model is actually just a thin sheet of small models. When we separate the various layers, you can see that what we've got here is the clear material forming a hinge around each edge and the red material forming contrast in the center panel, which is about half a millimeter thick, so this is a very thin model.